My dad was always a guy of big ideas. I think he just put together his longtime love for the College of DuPage with his incredible friendship with Carlos Phillips and Carlos's mother's Dolores Olmedo's Frida Kahlo collection. And he thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if they brought it to Glen Ellen? And I think it was that merging of those two pieces into a big idea. The very first time he brought it to me, he said, I want to bring it to College of DuPage. And I said, don't you mean the Art Institute or the Museum of Contemporary Art? And he said, no, the College of DuPage. What I'm most excited about is actually seeing this dream that my dad had since the Cleve Carney Museum was created and to see it actually get here. Um, that is um, the fulfillment of your parents' wishes after they pass away uh, is probably the most exciting thing I could think of. Because I worked very closely with Alan in trying to complete this dream and his thought process was to highlight the College of DuPage, that it's kind of like this hidden gem. And a lot of people don't know about the Mackinac Art Center and all the good things that College of DuPage brings to the Western suburbs. It was part of paying back to the community. I cannot even express how touched I have been since we did that incredible gala last year in 2020. Unbelievable outpouring of help and support. One of my dad's points was in bringing things together, bringing um, the Carlos's uh, Phillips art uh, to the College of DuPage and bringing it to the um, growing uh, Hispanic community in the Western suburbs. And when we were at Frida Fest, and seeing on rainy day, people <laughs> lined up <laughs> to get in <laughs> an hour before it was supposed to start. And then to see how many people came and when it was absolutely full, was incredible to see the enthusiasm. I know how much my dad would have loved to have been there. And, and that was just, amazing to me and um, I really didn't think I would feel the way I did that day and I was just so proud. It was, it was magical. Yeah. It was truly magical. 2020 was a very challenging time so losing my mom in January and then shutting down the country in March and losing my dad in April, it was clear that we weren't going to do Frida in 2020. I wanted very much to make sure that we were able to do it. So it's, I, I feel that it spurred me more to want to see this re become a reality rather than less, um, because I know how, and in my dad's last few years, how important this thing was to him. Um, I think he hung on uh, for a long, a long time, time, a long time, trying to um, uh, get to Frida coming, but um, didn't make it. We want to give a heartfelt, uh, our heartfelt gratitude for everything that you've done. Um, we appreciate uh, all of your efforts, and we know that this is going to lead to a wonderful exhibition of Frida's artwork. Thank you.